Unless you have been hired to write a script or you have financing in place already, the first and most important thing that you can do is make sure that your script is very clear, that it is not confusing. And if there is confusion, even on the first page, especially on the first page, they will toss that aside because they know they are not in the hands of a professional. And they know that the rest of the next two hours that they read the script could be too wasted out. And when you cause confusion, you ruin your chances of getting discovered, of getting an agent, of getting a manager, of uh, getting into that film festival, of making a film that makes sense. I've been there, I've done it. There is something that you can do about it though, and we're gonna talk about that today. But first, my name is Dawn Spinella. I am a writer, uh, a teacher, uh, a filmmaker. It truly has been my pursuit and my passion to become a great writer. And I love being able to help others. I have learned so much from my own mistakes and I get to give that information to you. Two most important things that you can do to ensure your reader or writer as an entertaining experience, knowing what you want to say, specifically thematic. So what really is theme and why is it important? Well, I'm gonna tell you, theme is the essence of your story. It is the essence of what your characters believe. It's what you explore as the writer. Theme creates the central dramatic argument that your story revolves around. For instance, good versus evil, fortitude, honor, love, justice, sacrifice, revenge. All of these are themes that you would explore. And theme is what makes it really interesting. Theme is about the philosophy, right? The internal mechanism that makes us human. And we explore that theme through characters POV. Because no man can be friends with a woman that he finds attractive. He always wants to have sex with. We'll talk about this another time, but understanding theme and exploring that through character POV is what gives you depth in character. It allows you to create a character arc. You want to begin establishing that theme on page one. Let's look at Mulan. Mulan is about honor and what is she willing to do for honor? She breaks the rules. She breaks the laws in order to follow her code of honor. John Wick seeks justice. He wants to avenge the death of the, the last gift that his wife gave him. That is what's important to him. He is motivated by justice, even though it may seem like injustice, but within that world, it is justice. A few good men, you believe in something, you stand up for something, and you've got a lead character who doesn't believe in anything. And you've got the antagonist who challenges that. And it, it allows us to look at different ways of being. You need to establish your theme right off the bat. At least what are we watching in this? What are we going to learn about? Theme is often stated as an argument, as your thesis statement. So for instance, when Harry met Sally, we're exploring the theme of love and the first piece of dialogue in the script tells us that. We know exactly what we're getting into. Then, some pages later, Harry says that men and women can't be friends. This is the statement. This is the statement that defines his belief system, his POV. That statement is challenged throughout the rest of the story as we follow a love story between a man and a woman who have very different opinions about whether women and men can be friends and what love is. So important for you to know what it is that you want to say. Solution number two is making sure you have a roadmap. In this case, a log line. I know, a log line. Keep that log line written in front of you while you are working on your story, uh, plotting it out, and I guarantee you, you will have a much easier time writing the story and you will remain focused and clear. It's like following a roadmap. Uh, to get to where you want to be. So a log line is designed to paint a picture in a few sentences so that it gets somebody's interest in order to read your script or watch your film or to help you stay focused on the story you're telling so that you don't meander and go crazy, particularly in act two when it's very easy to get lost. So here are a couple of examples of uh, a log line, right? Two detectives, a rookie and a veteran, attempt to catch a serial killer who uses the seven deadly sins to choose his victims. They're going to write that structure and follow that story 
based on this. It's almost like you see the first two acts. Two detectives, a rookie veteran, attempt to catch a serial killer who uses the seven deadly sins, which is the hook to choose his victims. Very simple. Uh, a cynical American expatriate struggles to decide whether or not he should help his former lover and her fugitive husband escape French Morocco before they're taken captive. Another classic film. This is so much about character. Our American, cynical American expatriate has to struggle with themes of loyalty and love. This is what I woke up to in my inbox today, the screen graph, screen craft blog. 22 log lines from this year's Sundance films and why they got in, why they got festival attention. But what I love about it is that they list all these log lines. And that's awesome because this is a great example of how you can write a great log line. I love master log line at an elite new england university built on the site of a salem era gallows hill three women strive to find their place that's a little bit vague but okay navigating politics and privilege they encounter increasingly terrifying manifestations of the school's haunted past and present dun, dun, dun. okay so we obviously get the genre but it's interesting it's already intriguing Okay, I get who my protagonists are, and one of these three women will be the standout protagonist. I get what the problem is that they're going to be facing and what they have to overcome. And I know that they're going to be dealing with ghosts and spirits and, and stuff that happened in the past and the present. So to me, this promises a really fun read. If I were writing this, I would totally map out my beats according to this that does not give away the end, which is great. Uh, I would suggest reading through this blog and uh, reading the different um, reading the different log lines so that you kind of begin to have an idea of how to write a log line and which ones make sense to you, where you're questionable, uh, which ones have too much information, which ones are just right, which ones paint a picture in your brain when you read it. That's the key. Paint the picture. I challenge you to write a log line right now for the project you're working on or a project that you're considering and post it in the comments below because I would love to read it and give you some feedback. And if you think that I said anything interesting and would like me to say something more, please subscribe and hit like because that way I can keep coming back. And check out my next video on log lines, how to write them.